Brewers and the Cubs wrapping up a four-game series at Wrigley Field. Mike Fires making his second start since being recalled from AAA. His opposition is the veteran Edwin Jackson. But Jackson finds trouble in the top of the first as he faces Scooter Jeanette with two men aboard and two men away. And Scooter puts this one in the ivy in right center field. That's a two-out, two-run double for Jeanette. Brewers up 2 nothing. Now we check out Fires in the bottom of the first. First man he faces, Chris Coglin, have a seat. And the next batter, Javier Baez, beats a similar fate. Down he goes on strikes. Now bottom two, Luis Valbuena cannot find it. Next batter, Erizmendi Alcantara, he looks at strike three. And the next batter for the Cubs, I'll give you one guess. He also goes down, he being Justin Ruggiano. Fires strikes out the side, five Ks through two. Now we go top three, bases empty, two men away for Chris Davis. That ball's hit deep in the left. Davis sending one out, and it's gone. A home run. I choked again. I was, I was going to lay out, but I didn't know if it was going out on a windy day. Chris Davis homers. And the Brewers have a 3 nothing lead. Let's go back to Fires in the bottom of the fifth. It's now a 5 nothing lead for Milwaukee, and Fires continues to do his thing, closing out the fifth by getting Jacob Turner on the foul tip, and then opening the bottom of the sixth by getting Coughlin on strikes one more time. And the next batter for the home team is Javier Baez, and bye-bye Baez on the nasty breaking ball. That's out number two. Next batter for the Cubs is Starlin Castro. And he got him. Fires strikes out another one. 14 strikeouts for Mike Fires. That is a new career high. Brewers earn a split of the four-game series with a 6-2 win behind Mike Fires' outstanding effort. In two starts since being recalled from AAA, Fires is 2-0 with a .64 ERA, with just six hits allowed through 14 innings, recording 19 strikeouts. Ryan Braun was held out of Thursday's lineup due to a sore right hand.